Peace and love everyone, what's good? Welcome to Drillosophy, the video series where we do a deep dig into some lyrics from your favourite artists from the UK scene. Today we're going to be figuring out how we can apply ancient Greek philosophy to drill music. My name's Kieran Thapa, I'm a youth worker and a writer. What's my gun there in a white bear? I'm your boy Rex, that's short for Reveal, MC and Drillosopher. This week, we're going to be looking at some concepts from philosophy and seeing how they link to drill music as we explore Skengo's cave. Yo, it's your boy Skengo. Big up Roadworks, big up philosophy. Can you define for us drill music? Drill music? In 2011, Chicago drill music exploded around the world. It landed in London, and in roughly 2014, young people in South London started making drill music as a way of expressing their realities and communicating with one another. Kick down doors, think again, you mug. Did it about my kick down yours. My plug gives me the loudest bud, shit that smell like yours. C4 bad dad, FB40, the force would be on tour. The fans on my back, I like that door. Skengdu and AM, from a group called 410, were two of the most formative, most successful early drill artists. Their music has not only been extremely popular, watched millions of times on YouTube, it's also been censored. That means that they've had to limit what they can talk about in their lyrics, and also, they're not allowed to go to certain parts of London. The lyric we're going to focus on today is AM's lyric in Jump That Fence. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken homes. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken homes. What AM is doing in this lyric is essentially describing an environment where lots of things are broken and dysfunctional. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken homes. Broken hearts, what you might get from a dysfunctional relationship with a family member or a partner. Broken phones, which are going to be expensive. And broken homes. Family breakdown, living in cramped conditions. Homes that aren't comfortable for a young person to grow up in. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken. Yo, it's AM410, big up roadworks, big up philosophy, you know, making a change. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken homes. Basically, that's just me explaining how our reality is broken. Like, our lifestyle is not the correct lifestyle to live, it's not a good lifestyle to live, but everyone's working to try to fix that. Despite these three lines with the word broken in it, he also uses the word diligent. Diligent youths. So there is still diligence, there's still people working hard despite their environment, despite all the difficult things going on around them. It might be a useful way to describe how drill artists are using their music as a way of escaping their negative environment. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent youths from broken... Here's another 410 lyric we're going to be talking about, and this time it's a Skengdo bar. Blackness. blackness, no they can't stand my blackness See black you and they all think stabbing mm -hmm. You don't even know this guy He wears a track suit so you think he's trapping uh, I got nine months suspended for rapping Still can't believe that happened can't. You don't even know this guy He wears a track suit so you think he's trapping The track from South was actually made For a documentary called Terms and Conditions That I'd highly recommend you guys checking out You don't even know this guy He wears a track suit so you think he's trapping Now, there's a lot of different themes we could pull out of it but the one that stands out to me in particular is that of perception. Whether it be how we perceive things or whether it be how other people perceive those same things in a different way. Now, here Skengdo's talking about a tracksuit. That's something I can definitely relate to because I like to stay fly like the next man. You are done though. But you got to look at it from the perspective of someone like, say, a member of parliament. <laughs> to work every day wearing a suit and a tie, Order. they might have a completely different perception of what that tracksuit means. Be a good boy, young man! Because they see news reports where they see young people wearing tracksuits, they might associate it with a negative stereotype, or for them it might have the connotation that the young person's involved in a criminal lifestyle. And the same thing works the other way around as well. We can't assume that every politician is out to baffle us or isn't telling us the truth because there are some good ones doing great work as well. Those are the main things that I think Skengdo's talking about. Would you lot agree? Get the ball, 
I'm basically trying to get across like that we be getting stereotyped and discriminated just because of what we're wearing. Like it's not right. You know what I mean? Like I've got on a tracksuit right now. I'm not selling drugs. The philosophy we're going to be looking at is called Plato's Cave. Plato was an ancient Greek philosopher who came up with the idea of the cave as a story to explain the practical use of philosophy in our lives and specifically how education can affect how we perceive the world. Plato describes a cave with a group of people chained up inside. He says that those people have been chained up their whole lives and all they know are shadows on the wall in front of them. They've never seen anything else. They think that those shadows are the most important thing on the planet. What they don't know is that those shadows are being created by people who stood behind them using shapes. The light that is being used to create those shadows is produced from a fire. So actually, all of their knowledge base, based on these shadows, is not real. Plato says that the role of philosophy in this metaphor is that it frees us from the chains. Once someone learns philosophy, they're able to remove themselves from the chains, discover that the source of their knowledge is actually these people making shapes behind them and the fire behind them, and then leave the cave. And he says once someone's left the cave, that's when they've reached ultimate fulfillment, ultimate self-realization. He also says that once someone's left the cave and tries to return into the cave to explain to their friends about the powers of real life outside, they can't see in the dark, they're blind. So it's often very difficult for someone who's learned lots and has studied and has realized lots to return to that environment and teach those people that there is actually a lot more to life than what they think. Plato's cave is really interesting to break down into its different parts. What do the shadows represent? They might represent things like newspaper headlines or things like materialism, the idea that we need to buy lots of things to be happy. The shapes behind the people who are in chains could represent things like books or school curriculums or people who own the newspapers. They're the people who manipulate the information on the wall. The fire could represent the ultimate source of a lot of this knowledge. Electricity, language, ideas. And of course, if you leave the cave, the sun, trees, everything free outside could represent ultimate knowledge. And that's what we want to try and achieve. So if I were to now bring in the music, can you think of any ways that drill could be applied to the Plato's cave metaphor? When I first learned about the metaphor, it was crazy because I started applying it to certain situations in my own life and I started to see things in a new light, that whole perception thing I was talking about. And for me, drill is actually something that fits really well with Plato's cave. Because the fire could be said to represent realities of life in the hood. The shapes and the people holding them up are the media who are creating the news reports. The shadows on the wall are the news reports that people see. Rap videos allegedly used to promote gang violence are being removed from YouTube. And the people in the chains are the general public who watch those things. So, to take it back to Skengdo's lyric and the example about the tracksuit. You don't even know this guy, he wears a tracksuit so you think he's trapping. What Skengdo could be talking about is a news report that's been made by the people holding up the shakes, the media. So the media might have put a lot of images showing young people who've been accused of committing crimes wearing tracksuits. These are specific videos saying, we'll take on that gang there, we'll have a challenge with that gang. So immediately in their mind, that makes them link it to criminal activity, whereas that might not actually be the case. So it becomes about your perception. And like Kieran was saying, Plato had this whole idea of by educating ourselves, we'll be able to leave the cave. So we'll be able to get out of that way of thinking where we're influenced by other people and we'll be able to experience those things for what they really are. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So if we return to AM's lyric. Broken hearts, broken phones, diligent use from broken bones. Again. It's this idea of perception, but also the way that perception is influenced by your environment. If all you're seeing is dysfunctionality and things that are broken in your family, in your relationships, even your phone's broken, then that's gonna set a certain set of expectations in your life and the way you perceive things. However, the idea of diligent use might reflect someone who is attempting to leave the cave, someone who's attempting to free themselves from those chains because they're diligent and they're working hard. It's worth pointing out that the word diligent appears a lot in drill lyrics, 
Miz or Mac from Harlem Spartans uses it. Militant and diligent get banned. And Quengface from Zone 2 uses it as well. Hashtag Zoot Shotgun Diligent. Among many other examples. Even though the word often appears alongside violent content, why is it that these artists have chosen that piece of vocabulary in their lyrics? What does that say about the music they make and what does it say about them as people? Today on Drillosophy, we thought about how ancient Greek philosophy can be applied to modern drill music and also thought about perception and how we can use philosophy as a way of learning about ourselves and thinking about our environment. Now, as a task, it would be great for all of you guys watching to think about how Plato's cave applies to your own life. Think about all the different parts. We'd like you to have a go at presenting it in a creative way. So maybe you could do an illustration that shows the metaphor as it applies to you, or you could even have a go at kicking some bars about it. That's what one of the Roadworks ambassadors, Jamar, done. Ripper, listen. See, I can tell you about Plato's cave. Manipulate the shapes to the key, drill up in the dark and keep the light away. And nowadays, everyone listens to what the media states. See, big up the Roadworks team. See, we when we did it a different way. And we'd love to see or hear some of the stuff you guys come up with. So please do hit us up. Check the link in the description. And every week we'll be picking a select few of what you guys send in to share with the rest of you. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Drillosophy. Plenty more to come. Stay safe in the meantime. Peace out, people. True believer in unity, I am my brother's keeper Whether they drug dealers, thieves or underachievers Cause where you see drugs, street thugs and robberies I see a bunch of children the system couldn't teach properly All about perception, need to learn to see properly Before accusing kids of not learning to speak properly Yo, just before you lot go, make sure you don't forget to like, comment and subscribe We've got loads of more philosophy for you coming up soon Peace